Disclaimer. Six Inc. does not act as a securities dealer or advisor and is not registered to do so under applicable securities law. The accuracy of any statements made by individuals interviewed is not verified by Six Inc. These individuals or the firms they represent are solely responsible for their statements. Nothing in this interview is a recommendation by Six Inc. for any securities, nor is it investment advice or a substitute for professional investment advice. All investments and securities carry risks. Everyone's investment needs are different. Investors should obtain professional advice from a registered investment dealer, advisor, or other professional third party. For a full disclaimer, please refer to the description below or at www.six.com. Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Six Report. I'm here with Anil, the Executive Vice President and Director of Step Gold. And you're currently at PDAC, is that right, sir? How, 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 do, how would you describe PDAC this year? <clears throat> well, it's, it's our second PDAC within 12 months. So it's, uh, it's, it's been a first, I, I would say. But uh, certainly it's uh, busy, uh, good positive vibes here. So uh, I would say busier than I expected. So uh, it's, it's been good so far. Very, very, very busy for the last couple of days. I've heard the sentiment has been great at PDAC, so that's excellent. And you're coming on today to talk about your company just releasing uh, news about a letter of intent to acquire Ana Cortez Mining Corp. So I was wondering if you could talk a little bit more about the binding agreement terms. Sure. <clears throat> yeah, we just released that uh, um, early morning yesterday, and uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's it's a it's a fantastic asset that we were able to acquire. Uh, I guess in a in a, in, a, in a weak market uh, today, but it's a very complimentary asset. Uh, two and a half million ounces, 1.9 million ounces in sulfides with leachable oxides and sulfides of another 600,000 ounces. So very similar to what we did in Mongolia. We have the ability to um, build a, a heap leach operation as a starter project in Peru. So now we're diversified from a, a country perspective. We're in a new country that's very mining centric. Uh, it's a mining jurisdiction, uh, well established. So it's not a frontier or emerging market like Mongolia. Yet we've doubled the size of our company um, with minimal pollution. So it's about a twenty-one million dollar Canadian acquisition, uh, shares only. Uh, so it's a fantastic uh, result. It, is, it sequences very well with our phase two expansion in Mongolia. To then bring this online uh, after we bring the uh, production online in phase two. In Mongolia, we can then bring our team to go develop this heat leach operation, which we've already built in Mongolia, in Peru, uh, in the next couple of years. And yeah, so I'll paraphrase. You, you almost stated this that uh, this was this transaction will transform Step Gold into a multi-asset, multi-jurisdiction gold company. But why don't you tell us why you specifically had your eyes on Ana Cortez Mining and the logic behind this acquisition? <laughs> sure. So actually, this is a, an asset that we've known for a few years. Actually, we looked at it a few years ago um, and didn't have the ability to transact on it. And another company uh, was able to raise money and they transacted at uh, a value that's five times our current valuation, uh, our acquisition valuation. So I guess patience uh, helps. We were lucky to be able to grab uh, this asset at a, a depressed valuation um, in, in the current market. But it certainly is in a good jurisdiction. So it's a strong endowment today that will continue to grow. So we see a lot of upside on the oxides, on the sulfides, and a quick path to production once we complete the permitting in the feasibility study. So it's a it's actually a natural fit in our pipeline of development. We've already brought phase one online in Mongolia, which is the heat leach. Our phase two will come online in early 2025. And by that time, in 2025, we should be able to start construction on this project and in 2026 can bring it online. Uh, so we bring our production profile to closer to about 200,000 ounces across two different jurisdictions. So it's, it's definitely um, what, we're, what we're hearing from the market and investors is definitely uh, good to have uh, optionality and diversification in terms of the jurisdiction. So no matter how well we do in one jurisdiction, we may not get the value uh, that other companies get by having multiple assets in multiple jurisdictions. This helps for a re-rate, a diversification of risk and, and our profile. Okay, and, and with these ongoing protests in Peru, uh, it, it has been making headlines this country for the last couple of years, and some individuals might be concerned about this jurisdiction. Uh, why is your team comfortable acquiring an operator out of Peru? <laughs> Sure. Yeah, the social issues um, uh, today in country are, I would say, not generally related to mining. 
per se. It, yes, it's, it has to do with the leaders in the country. Um, you know, there's noise in, in a lot of countries where everyone uh, operates, including Canada. Uh, it, you know, and so you see the same uh, type of uh, noise or, or distraction. But bottom line is uh, Peru is a mining jurisdiction. It's uh, a top mining jurisdiction. They have many producing mines. It's the uh, it's the driver of the economy, of jobs, of the country, just like Mongolia. So it's it's it's, uh, it's, it's very crucial for the mining projects to come online to create those jobs and revenue and business and drive it. So we don't see that as an issue. We see that as noise and actually an opportunity. So you know this will I, I, you know will not last too long. We think, and for us, it's not a lot of at-risk capital to, to, to acquire this asset and move it along over the next couple of years without having to actually uh, spend a lot of money in construction. Exactly. Thank you so much. If you want to learn more about Step Gold, you can go to stepgold.com. Thank you, Anil, for taking the time to chat with me today, and I'll let you get back to the conference. Great. Thanks so much.